Hi folks, I'm Ms. Grit. Today I'm at my friend Greg's house and we're going to be using the Crab Master. We went crabbing yesterday and New Jersey's having such a phenomenal season this year with the crabs that I decided to get this tool to help extract raw meat from a crab shell. One of the things that we have to do to use this device is to pre-clean the crabs and make sure that the shell is removed, all of the excess stomach contents are removed, and the two pincher shells are removed before putting it in this device. Here we have two bowls of crabs. Now I've already done about 24 crabs and as you can see you get quite a few or quite a lot of meat from the crabs when you do it this way. The pincher shell has been removed. You have to put them into the machine, or tool, device, whatever you prefer to call it. I'm going to turn this around just a little bit, so you can see how it works a little better. With the swimmer and the crawler feet facing forward, one hand on, and just roll this forward and back. Bring your meat forward, and what you then have is an empty shell, which what I'm doing with my empty shells is I'm putting them in a pot and then just boiling them for about 10 minutes. The Crab Master comes with about 10 to 15 different recipes. Some of them call for you to use water. Instead of using the water, I'm going to freeze up the crab stock and I can just defrost that at a later point in time and use it in one of the recipes. One of the recipes that I did use earlier this week is I made a tomato basil crab and corn bisque, and it called for about two cups of water. So I had used the crab stock from boiling down the bodies, the empty shells. So now as you can see, from half of a crab, I've already gotten a nice tablespoon full of meat. I'm going to take that meat off of here and just put it into the bowl. There are no shells in here, absolutely none. In the process of doing this, you may see that you get several shells. And as you get meat across the top here, you can just pick it up, push it forward. It's a pretty quick and easy tool to use. Goes very fast. And when you do see large shells, you can just pick them up, remove them. Now one of the things that you can do is you can freeze your crabs and do this at a later point in time, or once you've cleaned them, they need to be cold for at least six hours before doing this process. Many of the recipes call for the crabs to be cooked after you've extracted the meat, and that's just very simply put it in a frying pan with a little bit of butter and saute them for maybe five or ten minutes. Again, as you can see, I'm pulling one small shell out. Very quick and easy. There's another shell I'm going to remove. Very quick, very easy. You can purchase this item on the internet. Just search Crab Master. It runs about $48.99, and depending on where you're located and how quickly you want the item, you can get it shipped for anywhere from maybe ten to twenty dollars. Definitely an item I would recommend having if you're going to be doing a lot of crabbing this season. Well worth the effort, well worth the time, well worth the money.